must save her. My daughter. Man, Epona is such a beautiful horse. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Breath of the Wild playthrough episode. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, wherever you guys might be. So today, I actually want to see. So somebody said in the comments that if I talk to these kids with a horse that is a max bond, then I can put the saddle on. I didn't realize, but Epona is a max bond. So let's see if I can... Put the saddle on Epona. Ah. <laughs> no, nope, looks like it's not gonna work. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, you want to soothe them when they do something good. All right. Um. Yeah, I, I think we just have to go to a special stable, so we'll find which stable that is. In the meantime, guys, we're gonna we're gonna head back to Kakariko Village because wait, why am I still on the Lock Mementos quest? There, uh, we're gonna head back to Kakariko Village because there is a great fairy fountain near Kakari Kakariko Village, and that will allow us not only to upgrade our weapons, or no, not weapons, upgrade our armor, but it'll also allow us to capture some more fairies. And as you guys know, I tend to die a lot, so fairies will be very, very handy. Not only that, guys... But I also have something special to show you guys, and I'll show you guys later. But first, let's go up here to the Great Fairy Fountain. Ooh. That's so hard to hit! I'm just shooting randomly and I... Oh my gosh. I'm losing more money in arrows than I'm gaining just by shooting in that thing. Where'd he go? Did I hit him? Oh my gosh. Oh, I did. He didn't drop very much money. Alright, so, check it out, guys. Look at all the fairies! Let's grab some of these. Grab that one. Thank you, thank you. Grab all these fairies. What is this? Oh, a Dura Carrot. It makes us have uh, much more stamina. Those are actually very useful. Oh, guys, look. It's the Silent Princess. This is the flower that is named after Zelda, and it's also the flower on the logo of the game. Very cool. Man, there is so much loot just around the Great Fairy Fountain. There's another fairy. Thank you. I think that was four fairies. Four or five. Alright. Let's talk to her. Boy. Sweet boy. Please. Listen to my story. I am the great fairy, Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers offered me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. Why do you need rupees to have power? I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over. Okay. 100 rupees. Seems fair. Thank you. You're too kind. Now, if you guys have never seen what the Great Fairy looks like, you're about to be amazed. She's quite large.
<laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> okay then, look at that hair. Mm. The first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. I bet. All right, so we could actually use her to enhance our clothing using uh -huh. materials. Let's see what we can do. All right. Well, first things first, I think we're gonna enhance our mm. stealth mask. This will make the armor a little bit more. And I believe if you can enhance things up to level three, they get an extra yeah. bonus. At least certain armor sets do. Now we got a one star stealth mask. Yes, set bonus. Thank you. Mm. Let's do the stealth chest as well. Upgrades, upgrades, guys. This episode is all about upgrades. We're upgrading our armor, and I have a special surprise for you after this. Stealth chest guard. Level one star. Let's do the feet as well, since I have the blue nightshades. Mm -hmm. Well, I have exactly enough blue nightshades too. Ah. That's funny, because I literally just picked up those blue nightshades at the Great Fairy Fountain. We might be able to upgrade the Hylian clothes as well, which I kind of want to do. These would probably be smart to upgrade because they offer the most armor. But I actually like the Hylian hood and stuff more. And mm. they only require bow Coblin horns, which I have a ton of. So let's just ah. do it. This will help us a little bit. Not be so easily killed anyways. Especially once I get them to level 2, level 3, level 4. I think you go to level 5. I don't remember exactly. It's been a while. Mm. I don't think ah. this fairy can do level two. I think there's like three or four fairies throughout the land and they do different levels. Thank you, thank you. Ah. Let's do the uh, the Hylian trousers I have in two colors, but I'm gonna do the green mm. ones. Ah. Let me do my thing, <sighs> boy. All right. I just want to see how come I can't I'm sorry but to enhance that clothing I need the aid of my sister's powers okay so I gotta awaken more of the great fairies well I mean I, I might as well upgrade these because I have the ingredients you know and who knows I may want to use the soldier armor eventually I haven't even equipped it yet now that I think about it we bought it and I never even equipped it I just don't think it looks very good on Link because Link, he's he's never mm. really been a soldier, you know? He's never really been one to wear ah. lots of plate armor, you know? Link is more of a leather <laughs> armor type of person, but I imagine this armor looks even cooler if we actually dye the color of it as well. Yeah, we have the mm. ingredients. I mean, I might as well. I'm never really going to use the choo-choo jelly ah. for anything else, so... The Bogoblin Guts I would sell for Buddy, but it's all good. Alright, so that's all we're going to do for now. Alright. We can come back to her and upgrade anytime we please. And uh, also we can come back for fairies as well. So, Alright. We're done with that. Now, the surprise that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, one of my arrows. One of my best friends in real life was able to acquire for me some rare amiibo cards. By the way, let me see. So I have a total armor of 12 now. Before it was 6. So I doubled my armor. That's nice. And then if I wear the plate armor, I got 21. <laughs> Yeah, he looks kind of funny in the plate armor. I mean, he looks good. He doesn't look bad, but... So anyways, my friend got me some amiibos, and um, 
I already had some Zelda amiibos, but I didn't have all of them. Wait, what is this? I don't remember this. Oh, you guys know what? I bet you the the orb that's in Impa's hut actually goes right there. These pedestals are always you got to put like an orb on them, and then it and then it becomes like a shrine. Look what I see. I bet you that's what it is, but I could be wrong. So anyways, I have a lot of amiibos now that I can use. Let's go ahead and summon some amiibos. Upgrades for my armor, and upgrades for my weapons. Guys, do you remember how my wolf lake only had three hearts? Check out this wolf lake. Oh my goodness, look at all those hearts. <laughs> oh man. Now we have a wolf lake who won't die in one second. This is amazing. Amazing. Thank you, dude, for the for the amiibos. Actually, let's go up a little bit higher. Uh-oh, there's a fox. We all know what, what's going to happen here. Oh, wow, he's not actually going for the fox. Did you hear the fox make the sounds? Now we know what the fox says. Get him, boy! Get him! There, now he saw him. <laughs> that fox was like, I'm getting out of here. Alright, so I also have some other amiibos that I've never used before. Like, this is the Guardian amiibo. I'm pretty sure we'll get a Guardian weapon for using this. Oh, wow. Actual uh, crates. <laughs> We'll let, we'll let Wolf take care of the, uh, the slime boys. How did it not break the other one? Ooh, ancient battle axe. It's not breaking both of them. I'm not sure why. There we go. I don't have like a sledgehammer or anything, so I can't really break those very easily. Alright, so that was the Guardian Amiibo. That was pretty cool. I've never used that before. And then here's a Ganondorf Amiibo. Wow, it gave us... Uh... Oh, some money in there. Some actual barrels. That's interesting. And... Moblin guts, okay. Wolf, get out of the way. Some money, money's always nice. This is the Bokoblin amiibo. Probably get like a wooden weapon, that's what they use. Wow, a lot of meat. Oh yeah, the Bokoblins are always cooking meat, that's funny. Wolf Link was like checking out the meat, he was like getting ready to eat one, I think. A spiked Boko shield, I mean, I'll take it I guess, I didn't have a shield. And let's see, I also got the amiibos for all four champions. Uh, Daruk, Mifa, Rivali, and Nervosa. However, I'm not going to use them yet. And this is why. The champions amiibos give you a special helmet. Oh, Link. Wolf Link was like growling. The, the champions amiibos give you a special helmet that is of the champion of the Divine Beast. And... Um, I just don't think it would be right to get those helmets until I actually defeat the Divine Beast. So after I defeat each Divine Beast, I'll use the Champion Amiibo for that Divine Beast and I'll be able to get the helmet for that Divine Beast. Does that make sense? I'm going to save them for that. But I do have some other ones I could use, I guess. I don't want to use too many Amiibos because I feel like I'm already pretty good on weapons and armor and stuff. But I'll use a couple more. This is... Uh... This is just uh, Breath of the Wild Link amiibo. At least it gives us like ingredients and stuff. Should make Master Mode a little bit easier. Alright, so now 
Where do we want to go from here? Wow, those three trees are very, uh, very interesting. Good job, wolf boy. I should have let, let him eat the meat, then he would heal. So, where do we want to go? Um, I, I guess we're going to the pin. I wanted to go to these pins, I remember. Alright, so let's, let's go back to Hateno Tower, and then I think we're just going to go south. At this point, I just want to uh, travel around and search for shrines, basically, because we need to do more shrines so that way I can get more hearts. So that way, <laughs> I can get the Master Sword, as we know. Hope you guys are all having a beautiful day, wherever you guys might be. I'm just sipping on some Earl Grey tea, enjoying myself, playing some Breath of the Wild. All right, let's uh, let's go this way. I'm not even sure what I marked. I don't even see it. All right, let's try it. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Sometimes it doesn't work on the towers, but I'm gonna try it again. Ah! Did it work? Oh wow, it actually shot a bomb. Alright, there we go. Whee! Wow. Look at that jump I just made. Alright, um, oh was that it? Was that? There's a shrine way up there. Um... Wait a minute. I'm right next to the green. What was it? What did I mark? It was down here. I love how the shield just stays attached to my feet. There's nothing here, so... Why did I mark... Oh, wait. Ooh. There's a cave. Oh! Alright, so there is something here. Hear something, guys. Ah, there's an enemy down there. Where'd my wolf link go? He doesn't see me, and I know as soon as I summon wolf link back. Where is wolf link? I there he is. As soon as I summon him, he's gonna try to attack that guy. I bet. Get him, boy. <laughs> Wolf Link's not even really helping. Oh, uh, whatever. He's barking at him, he's being a distraction. Sometimes that's all you need for help. Alright, Wolf Link, I could use your help with the ice bats. Get him, boy, get him! Come on, Wolf Link. You didn't really help me at all there. Ooh. That's some nice looking ore. What is that? Yep. Luminous stone, of course. I forgot luminous stones were a thing. Purple rupees, alright. That, my friends, looks like a rich node. Oh yeah. 
Couple topaz, couple amber, no big deal. Just getting rich over here. Wolf, why don't you take a drink or something? It might heal you. Couple more luminous stones. All right, all right, that was worth. I wonder why I marked it and never came back to it. It's kind of weird. All right, so I'm just gonna go explore now, guys. I am going to explore into the great unknown this way. Actually, you know what else I'm gonna do, guys? Is I'm gonna turn the uh, Sheikah sensor back on. That way we can find shrines a little easier. I have no idea where we are. And that's kinda cool. There's some dudes down there. What else are down there, man? Let's go find out. Big tree. What's on top of this big tree? I bet you there's a Korok up here, but I could be wrong. Where's my climbing helmet? I need to find the climbing armor, that would help. Nothing on top of the, the little Deku tree here. Ah, there's the Korra. Oh, come on, I, I hit A on that. Haha! <laughs> Yeah, you found me. Get wrecked. See, this is what Wolf Link is good for, just distracting them. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he still helps a lot. I wonder if you could use Wolf Link in the, the Master Sword Trials. Does anybody know if you can? That would be pretty OP. Good job, Wolf! Instead of all these two-handed weapons, I wish I could find some more one-handed weapons, but that's alright. Wait, did that guy just respawn? I feel like I just killed him. Don't ever poke my dog again. I'm gonna kill you with your friend's weapon. How's that feel? <laughs> Bet that one felt good. Dang, Wolf Link's actually good. My bad. I take it back. You're good, Wolf. You're good. You're really good. What are all these guys actually guarding down here? Are they just hanging out in the forest? A lot of beetles I'm scaring away, but that's alright. Man, I'm not finding any shrines around here. I'm kind of surprised. 
Usually it's not so hard to find a, a shrine. But we're still getting lots of loot, getting lots of uh, money, basically. Because I'm going to either sell this stuff or use it for upgrades. So killing these guys is, is a good thing. I should probably eat. Boomerang, go. Boomerang, go. Man, these weapons I'm getting are actually pretty weak. Wolflink's over there taking out one by himself. I don't like how when you're locking on, the, uh, the bow and arrow like really has a weird aim. Get wrecked, boy. Oh, that guys, we found the orb. Wait, where does the orb go? That was at Kaka Kakariko Village. There must be another one nearby. Dang it, Wolf Link, you're scaring. All right, you know what, Wolf Link, stay. Stay right here. This is a battle for big boys only. Very quiet. Let's go on his hand. <laughs> We're on top of him, guys. I don't even know if I have the weapons to kill this guy. I might have to bust out some of the big ones. Guess we could take those. We got it! Where does it go though? That's the only thing. I don't know where it actually goes. You know what though, guys? I might regret this. Oh, okay. I may I may regret this, guys. Hynix, Hi youngest kin. Oh gosh. Wolf Link! Come, come boy. And of course, my bow breaks. Put down the tree. This must be one of the easier Hynix because he doesn't even have that much health. This is master mode. Oh gosh, horrible, horrible shot. Let's use some heavy ammunition. <laughs> Easy. No, no, no. You're not eating that, Wolf Link. Don't even think about it. Now, where 
Does this go, guys? That is the question. We need to fi figure out where this goes. We haven't gone up that way, so maybe it goes like up there. Look at that big ox. Oh my gosh. It's scary looking. We need to get that prime meat. No, 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 come back. Let's look up here real quick, just to see. Because I'm not sure where else it would be. No? Oh, this looks like an... Oh, there's another one! There's another Hinox right there! I have never seen two this close together before, guys. And I honestly don't remember where these, where the orb goes. Does he have an orb too? He does. He's got an orb too. I think I remember this quest. There must be a place where you need two orbs. There's a dragon up there. Let's keep walking up here. I think, yep. We found it. There's three. There's three. All right, well, this one we're gonna put here. No? Maybe I gotta put it in the other one? Unfortunately, guys, this is where we're gonna have to end this episode. Nice, we got one. Oh man, so excited. And of course, we can't have an episode without rain. Let's see what this says before we end. The ancient orbs guarded by the giants of Mount Taran lead to the shrine. Wow. The, the three giant brothers. This is awesome. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do this next episode, guys. I'm looking for shrines and I think we found one. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, this is Lucian Sword. I need to, I need to go find some cover, man. I'm getting soaked over here. Thank you guys for watching. There's a shrine right there I'm going to mark. As always, guys, take it easy.